We will now try and do a few pass paper questions in which we're going to try and predict the delta S sign with, and uh, we're going to figure out whether delta S is positive, whether entropy is increasing or whether delta S is negative and entropy is decreasing. So in this reaction, uh, in this first pass paper question, you have, uh, you're asked to predict, predict the sign of delta S and you have to explain your answer as well. So if you look at this reaction, you would notice that uh, all the particles are gaseous. So in this reaction, all the particles are in gaseous state and if you count the number of moles of gas, you would notice that there are a total of three moles of gas in your reactants and in your product you have a total of five moles of gas. Since the amount of moles of gas is increasing, three moles of gas in your reactants and they're producing and they're reacting and producing five moles of gas. So since more gas is being produced, that would mean that there is an increase in disorder and the sign of delta S would be would is going to be positive and the reasoning that you would give for this question in your past paper exam is that uh, the number of moles of gas are increasing in the above reaction hence delta S is positive so that's your reason for this particular question Here's a second pass paper example question and it's a similar question where you have to find and uh, predict the sign of delta S. So again the question states that you have to state and explain whether the following processes will lead to an increase or decrease in entropy. Now uh, they have not given you an equation and they've asked you to figure out the reaction yourself. So the first reaction is of magnesium with hydrochloric acid. So you would need to first write down what the reaction is. So magnesium is a solid metal and it would be reacting with hydrochloric acid and uh, producing magnesium chloride MgCl2 plus it would also produce hydrogen gas so I hope you remember the reaction of magnesium with hydrochloric uh, acid so this is going to be in aqueous state and this would also be hydrochloric acid would also be in aqueous state now you have this reaction and if you look at this reaction you would notice that your reactants are solid and aqueous and your products have a gas. Since your products have a gaseous substances being formed, so the increase in disorder is going to be very large. So the, so the entropy change, since disorder is increasing, entropy change would be positive. That would mean that entropy disorder is increasing. And the explanation is that uh, a gas is being produced. in the products and since gases have a very large entropy they have a lot of disorder hence the entropy change is positive and in the second uh, part of the question the process that uh, they're talking about is that the uh, solid potassium chloride is, is dissolving in water so again you you can come up with an equation potassium chloride although they haven't asked for an equation potassium chloride which is a solid it's going to be dissolved in uh, aqua state and it's going to dissociate and produce ions one would be k plus one in aqua state and the other one would be cl minus one that would also be in aqua state now if you look at this equation and as we have discussed previously as well whenever a solid dissolves in water uh, and dissociates the entropy is always positive there's more disorder when kcl is dissolved in water its particles are more disordered so entropy change is positive so again the entropy change the net entropy change is positive it increases there is more disorder in the products and the explanation is uh, that since it's dissolving it also ionizes and dissociates to produce aqua signs which is why disorder is increasing so that's the explanation for part two and it's uh, coming back to part uh, three now uh, the process that he's that they're talking about is that steam is condensing to water so we can we can quickly write an equation H2O gas condenses to H2O 
liquid. So this is the process that they're talking about. And again, as we have discussed previously, whenever there's a state change, gases have higher disorder, liquids have less disorder. So entropy is dis decreasing. The disorder is decreasing when you move from a gaseous substance to a liquid substance. So entropy change in this case is going to be negative. It decreases. And the reason being that uh, gaseous substance changes to a liquid. And liquids have a lower disorder. Now, since this was only a one mark explanation, so a simple point would be enough, a simple one uh, line explanation would be enough to acquire this mark. As long as that explanation is, sub is uh, it fits what the process and justifies uh, your entropy change. Now we're going to do example number three and it's a similar, you just have to uh, predict the sign of delta S whether entropy is increasing or decreasing. So for each process predict the sign of delta S. So the first process is that there's a solid substance that is dissolving and it's forming aqueous ions. So whenever a solid dissolves and forms aqueous ions, disorder would be increasing. So delta S would be positive in this particular case. Coming to the second uh, part of the question, a liquid H2O liquid is turning into H2O gas. So since the modes of gas are increasing, state change is occurring. Whenever a liquid changes into gas, disorder would increase. So entropy change would be positive again in this particular case. Coming to the third part, you have all the substances are gas, gaseous. So you have two hydrogen molecules reacting with one O2 molecule and they're producing two water molecules. So the amount of moles of gas, initially in the reactants, you have a total of three moles of gas and your products have a total of two moles of gas. Now, if you look at the moles of gas, the moles of gas are decreasing. The products have lesser moles of gas. So that means that the amount of gas that is being formed is lesser. So things are moving towards more order. So disorder in this particular case is decreasing. So delta S would be, it would be negative. And coming to the last part, uh, you have a solid substance and it's reacting with six water molecules and it's producing another solid crystal. So, so this is that uh, a hydrated salt is being formed. Now, if you look at the number of particles, your reactants had a liquid state. Liquids generally have higher disorders, so that means they have higher entropy. And your products, your products are in solid state. So when your products are in solid state, they're going to have lower entropy. Now, based on this, since your reactants, one of the reactants was a liquid and your products are all solids. So since one of the reactants is liquid, so the reactants will have higher entropy. So there's going to be a loss of entropy. Entropy would be negative again as disorder would be decreasing. It's going towards more order. This is more disordered. This is less disordered. So disorder is decreasing. So again, in this case, entropy change is negative. We'll do this fourth pass pipe example now. And the question state you have to, which reaction causes a decrease in the entropy of the system? So we, we are talking about a decrease in disorder. So let's start with the first reaction. And you would notice that a solid reactant is breaking down and decomposing. It's producing a gas, which means gases have higher disorder. So that means disorder is increasing. So delta S would be positive in the first uh, option. Uh, moving to the second option, you have uh, hydrogen gas reacting with O2 gas. It's producing H2O liquid. So gaseous reactants are producing liquid. That means gases have higher disorder, higher entropy, and liquids have lower entropy. So in this case, delta S would be negative. There's a loss in loss of disorder, a loss of entropy, since a liquid is being formed. And we can do the rest of the options as well. Uh, you have a solid carbon reacting with a gaseous oxygen molecule and producing two molecules of carbon monoxide, which is gas. So if you look at the moles of gas, there's only one mole of gas in your reactants and there are two moles of gas in your products. So since the amount of moles of gas are increasing in this reaction, so delta S would be positive. Things are more moving towards more disorder. They're gaining disorder. They're gaining entropy. And coming to the last option, you have uh, sulfur trioxide. It's producing these two molecules. So the moles of gas 
in your reactants there are two modes of gas in your reactants and in your products there are three modes of gas in your products that would mean since more gas is being produced three modes of gas that means compared to two modes of gas there are more modes of gas being produced so again things are moving towards more disorder delta s would be positive they would be higher entropy so the answer to this question is going to, going to be this mcq is going to be b because only in that option is delta s negative there's a loss of disorder or loss of entropy